Well, if we could touch upon this, this is an interesting article that I saw on Essence, the premier, um, you know, retailer that stocks all these amazing designer brands that I'm obviously super into, like Rick Owens, Balenciaga, Random Identities, and other, other, other brands out there. And they've got this really cool editorial section where they do, you know, editorials and features and stuff on people, interviews and whatnot. And they had this really cool one that kind of pulled at my heartstrings and also was quite sobering and maybe reflecting a few things in my own life because I realized when I was watching this or reading this or scanning through this that as much as I thought this was cute, which is it's called Hey Young World and its subtext is um, four artistic families at home in London photographed by Siru Ma and styled by Marika uh, Ella Ames. It says home is where real life takes place, the dirty dishes, the piles of laundry, the laptop left in the unmade bed, toys strewn across the floor, spilled milk and scattered Cheerios on the countertop. The messiness of a living space is intimate, a snapshot of each family accumulating in little piles that build up over a course of a day. So essentially what they're doing is that they're featuring all these really cool, um, hip and trendy couples who are kind of essence adjacent. Maybe they work in fashion, maybe they work in other creative industries and they're basically showing them in their kind of natural habitat how they live um, in their homes with their kids, with their pets, with their partners, wherever it may be. And the first thing that came to mind when I looked at this, I was like, oh, this is so cute. Look at the little baby, you know, with little chubby cheeks, little chubby legs, right? With this cute little family, right? It's amazing. Cute couple, cute family, whatever it may be. But the first thing that came to mind for me was this is not really in my purview in the slightest, especially when I scanned down and I realized that there was a couple of people in here who I know and who are like, I wouldn't say much younger than me, but a few years younger than me who have kind of settled down and basically decided to kind of have a family. And I think to myself, if they're able to do this at this stage, it's clear that this is something that was always destined for them, always something that they kind of saw in their kind of purview. But for me, I don't see it in the slightest. I really don't. And I don't really have any real desire to start a family anytime soon either. It's not something I've ever kind of really thought about. And I think it might end up really kind of negatively affecting me when it comes to dating, when it comes to having a relationship, when it when it comes to maintaining a relationship, whatever it may be, it really might end up being a really big issue because I'm at the stage now, especially my age, where most likely the people that I meet won't necessarily be into just having a good time and hanging out and just dating or being kind of loose and open and stuff. They're going to probably want to be like, hey, where is this going? Of course, there's going to be people that I'll meet that will kind of be on the same vibe as me, I'm pretty sure, in the future or whenever. But for the most part, everyone of what, which I will kind of come across with will be on that time of like, hey, you know, what's the deal? Where are we going with this? Do you want to do X, Y, and Z? Start a family where maybe, and I'm going to have to be pretty honest and say, nah, like this does nothing for me. Don't get me wrong, it's cute. It's amazing. These couples all look amazing. The kids look fucking beautiful. The homes look gorgeous, you know, loving families and whatnot. But I just don't see this in my kind of future at all. And it's really odd because I think for the longest time, I kind of did see, if I didn't see myself getting married, I did definitely did see myself having a kid first because obviously that can happen a lot easier than getting married, right? You only need to flip in, not wear a flipping, you know, not, not wear a jacket once and then suddenly things can change very quickly. But I, I kind of saw that being something that I can kind of view in my future than getting married. But now I can't see either thing happening anytime soon at all. And I don't really have a desire for it at all. Do you know what I mean? You know how some guys are like, oh yeah, I can't wait to have a son so I can flip in, have him flip in, come to me to watch flipping United games or to kind of go to the park or whatever it may be. I don't care in the slightest. It's not something that has ever crossed my mind um, in one bit whatsoever. And I think that might be a bad thing. Um, and I'm not too sure if it's something because I'm not necessarily where I need to be in life in terms of my career. Maybe that's why I'm kind of, you know, because I'm quite, I'm quite, what's that word called? I'm quite I'm methodical about stuff, right? I like to kind of tick stuff off. I'm the kind of person that eats their chips first, then their burger, then whatever. Do you know what I mean? That kind of stuff. So maybe with that kind of tick off mind thing, I'm like, hold on, until I get my career in line, I'm not even going to think about that sort of stuff because what's the point? Um, but maybe I should be thinking about it in parallel. But then when I do think about it in parallel, I don't have any desire for it whatsoever. It doesn't It doesn't really kind of, um, it doesn't pull at me in the slightest. I'm more kind of pulled and sort of like, you know, impress or sort of like envious career-wise when I see people doing the things that I want to do, right? Um, flying around the world, playing in different clubs, you know, you know, 
sustaining themselves over making content over YouTube, you know, driving great cars, going on nice holidays, going to the cool places. That sort of stuff is something I'm like, oh, wow, I wish I could do that. I can't wait for me to do that when I finally get to that stage. But when I see stuff like this, I'm like, cool for you, good for you, I'm happy for you, but I don't necessarily see it in my line of sight, which is, again, like I said, maybe something I kind of need to think about a bit deeply because it might end up putting me in trouble, especially now, given my current situation. It might be something that I kind of need to address pretty pretty quickly, um, all things considered. But yeah, man, regardless anyway, of my own kind of, you know, in, in a monologue, in my own kind of um, realizations, I do recommend you check it out because it is a real beautiful feature. Um, I'm sure just off just watching, looking at these pictures, you can get some ideas on things that you will do in your home in terms of some home furnishing and whatnot and some interior design, little notes and whatnot. But it's just a really cool feature to check out. I really do recommend that you um, give it a little look and just check out some of Essence or of editorial pieces also um, because, you know, they did a good job in trying of pulling at my heartstrings and getting me to contemplate my life decisions. So, yeah, definitely check it out. I'll put the link in the description, but it, it's called Hey Young World. It's on Essence. If you just type in Hey Young World, Ed editorial essence you definitely find it on google and whatnot but definitely check it out if you haven't already definitely check it out if you haven't already